Chapter 10 Natural Disasters Let's learn Floods, Droughts, Cyclones, Earthquakes, Volcanic Eruptions A natural disaster is any catastrophic or calamitous event that is caused by nature or the natural processes of the earth. These destructive events cause loss of life and property, destroy houses and buildings, and affect transportation, livelihood, and means to live. Apart from being disastrous to humans, these events impact upon where and how we live. Some natural disasters that we are going to learn about are floods, droughts, earthquakes, cyclones, and volcanic eruptions. Floods Floods occur when water from water bodies, such as a river or lake, overflows resulting in water escaping its usual boundaries and spreading to surrounding areas. Excessive rain, cyclones and tsunami in coastal areas, a ruptured dam or embankment, rapid melting of ice in the mountains are the primary causes of floods. The water carries along objects like houses, bridges, cars, furniture, and even people. It can wipe away farms, trees, and many more heavy items. When floodwaters recede, affected areas are often blanketed in silt and mud. The water and land can be contaminated with hazardous materials such as sharp debris, pesticides, fuel, and untreated sewage. Water-related diseases such as cholera, typhoid, dengue, and malaria spread in flood-affected areas. Brain Tickler Why is it advisable to move to higher areas during floods? Safety Measures At the time of floods, we can do the followings. Move to higher areas like the roof of a house or a tree top. When there is a warming about a flood, Inform others around you. Keep enough stock of food, medicines, water, waterproof bags to store things. Keep torches, candles and matchboxes handy. Drink boiled water only. Droughts. A drought occurs when a region does not receive enough rainfall for an extended period of time. This leads to a severe deficiency in the water supply for domestic and agricultural purposes. When the situation persists over an extent, cyclones. Cyclones are huge revolving storms that develop above warm seas and oceans. They are common in island countries and coastal areas like West Bengal, Odisha, Andhra Pradesh, and Tamil Nadu. Cyclones are accompanied by strong winds and very heavy rains. They destroy everything that comes in their way, be it buildings, bridges, electric poles and overpasses. When they move towards land, they flood the coastal areas and spread several waterborne diseases. Hudhud was a strong tropical cyclone that caused extensive damage and loss of life on the eastern coast of India during October 2014. Safety Majors We can save lives during a cyclone by following these precautions. Keep an emergency kit ready having torch, first aid kit, non-perishable food, candle, matchbox, a portable radio and waterproof bags. Listen to weather reports on radio, television and read them in newspaper regularly for any announcements for cyclones. Immediately leave your home with your family and seek shelter with friends or other relatives when informed by the government. If you are driving when a cyclone hits, Park your vehicle in an open area and stay inside it. Drink boiled water to prevent affliction by a waterborne disease. Brain tickler. Water, hurricanes and typhoons. Volcanic eruption. Volcano is an opening on the surface of the earth 
from which molten magma and hot gases erupt with great force. Magma is a molten and semi-molten rock mixture found under the surface of the earth. Volcanic eruption occurs when this hot molten mixture erupts from the earth's surface. Magma is also called lava and the opening through which it erupts is known as a vent. The lava cools down to form igneous rocks. As more and more lava comes out and cools, it forms a volcanic mountain. Safety Majors We can save lives during a volcanic eruption by following these precautions. Keep all important phone numbers handy. Pay attention to the radio and television warnings. Always keep the first aid kit with essentials ready. Return to your home only after a formal announcement is made. Stay away from the volcanic mud and gases. Tsunami Tsunami is a Japanese word which means harbor wave. Tsunami is an extremely large wave in the sea that occurs due to disturbance on ocean flow such as earthquake, volcanic eruption, landslides, etc. A tsunami wave can go up to 100 feet high. It can travel up to 450 miles per hour. On 26 December 2004, one of the biggest tsunamis in the Indian Ocean had hit a number of countries in Southeast Asia, including India, causing damage and destruction of enormous proportion. Almost 2,30,000 people lost their lives. Safety Majors Tsunamis cannot be prevented, but timely information and warning about impending danger can give people a narrow margin of time for a successful evacuation from the area expected to be affected by it. Recap Floods occur when water from water bodies such as a river or lake overflows. A drought occurs when a region does not receive enough rainfall for extended period. A natural disaster is any catastrophic or calamitous event that is caused by nature or the natural processes of the earth. The sudden shaking of the earth is called an earthquake. Cyclones are huge revolving storms that develop above warm seas and oceans. Volcanic eruption occurs when hot molten magma erupts from the Earth's surface. Tsunamis are caused by underwater earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, landslides, etc. Life Skills Father, why are you packing things in a hurry? Where are we going? There has been a news alert about a cyclone in this area. We need to evacuate this place immediately. Father, also keep these emergency phone numbers and first aid kit in the bag. We might require them. Thanks dear, they will be helpful. A first aid kit and emergency phone numbers come handy during a calamity. Values for life We cannot stop natural disasters from happening. But we certainly can help save lives and alleviate suffering by taking simple measures and extending all possible help to the disaster victims.